Chippy, wave. Here. Wave. Here. Wave. Hey, Kane. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good, Charlie. Well, well, well. Look at who we have here. Little Charlie. How you doing, Char? I'm okay, Kane. How you doing? Set. So Charlie's back for a little bit. I wanted to do a video yesterday. No. Sit. But we had to work on some stuff because Charlie was not behaving. So we got the e-collar on him. We worked the weave pulls a little bit yesterday with him and Jupy. And we're going to have a weave pull competition later this afternoon. Now, he really wasn't listening. He wasn't listening to anything that I was saying. He was extremely excited. So... Charlie is e-collar conditioned, so we went over the e-collar with him, made sure that he understands that he needs to listen if I call him. He needs to come when he's called. If I say sit, he needs to sit. And also, if we're doing the weave pulls, he can't just do them however he wants. He needs to do them right because there is going to be a competition. Now, full disclosure, we're doing the competition between him and Jupy because they're the exact same breed. Charlie was doing the weave pulls at about 13 weeks. So he's been doing them a lot. Char Charlie's sort of the expert at the weave pulls. He is. Jupy can do the weave pulls. He's pretty good. But Charlie's been doing it, you know, since he was a puppy, like a really young puppy. You know, we, I'd walk him through it. So it's pretty ingrained in Charlie. So I suspect Charlie might be a second or two faster than Jupe, but Jupy, it's not really important how fast the dog is doing it. It's just important that the dog does it right. So if, do you understand what I'm saying? If, if Charlie's running out of the gates and not doing it right, that's not good for his general behavior. Make sure that the dog's compliant. You have to, like I can't just let Charlie do whatever. He wasn't listening, that's like safety issues. You know, Charlie wasn't staying at heel. You know, there's this excitement in Cocker Spaniels and a lot of the hunting dog breeds that you have to, you know, work in that realm of excitement, but make sure that the dog can function in that realm of excitement. So it, it was very important that me and Charlie worked for a little bit right away, you know, and if, if, if we were having any problems and the e-collar wasn't, you know, working full on which it did it's 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 starting it's working i would put a leash on charlie and go over the basics that way too and i still might do that with some stuff is put the leash on charlie so he's doing the weave pulls he was doing them real good yesterday Let, let's see if we'll do them real quick charlie you want to do the weave pulls yeah Kane. here whoa he's tripping me heel come on charlie wave here wave here Weave here, weave here, weave here, weave here. Yes, he's pretty. He's pretty fast. This is going to be a tough one for Jupy. Maybe I should do the competition right now. Let me go get Jupy Poopy. You know, Grandmaster Jupiter, pretty good. Jupiter looks like one of the three musketeers. And Charlie, Charlie, sit. No, that's not sit, Charlie. Sit. Charlie looks like he's in the Kiss Army. He does. He looks like Gene Simmons. Look at his makeup. He's got diamonds. Well, his diamonds for his eyes are sort of dissipating. They're still there. Now he looks like a baby raccoon. You call me a fucking baby raccoon? You're dead, Kane. Here's Jupiter Poopiter. And Jupy, we went over the weave pulls too. Because the last time... He did a board and train not too long ago. We did the weave pulls. But there was a concentration on a couple things. Got a burr in his hair. Um, Jupy can recycle paper and plastic. You can cast Jupy. So we worked on that kind of stuff. So, you know, we, we did. We went over uh, the weed pulls yesterday, and he's doing them pretty good. But like I said, there's nothing like getting a dog at like nine weeks and start conditioning it. And that's, that's what you have with Charlie. Now, Charlie's dad has to keep going over all this with him, of course. The first two years are critical for training. Keep telling the dog, this is what I want you to do. You know, you keep conditioning. So let's see how Jupy does on the weave pulls. Jupy, here. Come on, Jup. Jupy, poopy. No, heel. Jupy, weave. Here, weave. Here, here. Weave. Here, weave. Here. Yes! Uh, don't get me 
started on fucking Trump, Kane. He's a fucking asshole. Charlie, sit. Trump's a fucking idiot. He is. He's a fucking jerk, dude. Everybody in Canada hates Trump. It's the truth. He's a libtard dressed up like a Republican. So we have two dogs of the exact same breed. Charlie and Jupy. Now, Charlie's seven months old. Seven-month-old puppies are going through that, that stage I like to call the teenage years. It's a fact, man. Stay on the dog at this point. They try and see what they can get away with. And that's exactly what Charlie was doing the other day. Jupy's more stable because he's older. That's just how it is. Charlie did a board and train starting at nine weeks. Charlie went home at four and a half months. Right at four months is the point where I can really start making a difference in the dog, meaning making them more stable. So in other words, if a dog comes that's eight months old, I can do a board and train in about 30 days. With a puppy, it takes longer and the dog's sort of coming back less stable because you have a, a, an animal that is much younger. In other words, this is the analogy. Quiet, no. No, this is the analogy that I use, is that if you have a, a 16 year old kid, compare it to like a kid that's six years old, which kid could you give a task to like mowing the lawn? You would give it to the 16 year old. That the six year old is sort of useless. Charlie, no. See, Charlie's barking, Jupy isn't. And I already told Charlie, no, Jupy's already picked it up. There's some construction going on over there. And Charlie's being a douchebag just because of his age. And the Cocker Spaniels at about a year and a half, they really bump up. And the, you'll see the dog go through, like, developmental stages. There's all these developmental stages in a dog's life. And at, at points, that's my neighbor's dog. At, at points, they go through these stages where it's sort of difficult to deal with them. But that would be this point right here where the, the puppy is a teenager. If I, if I left, right, Charlie's had a board and train. If I left and told Jupy to sit, he would sit. Charlie, if I, if I start walking away, Charlie's, Jupy's done two board and trains with me. Charlie's done one. If I walked right now and, and didn't keep an eye on Charlie, he'd probably float off of this target. He would float before Jupy would float. I could go inside, go to the bathroom, do whatever, grab an iced tea, come back, Jupy will still be there. Charlie will have floated. It's, it's about conditioning and his age. This is an issue with age and conditioning. That's all it is. This dog's awesome. It's Charlie. This dog's awesome too. They're both English cockers. They're doing great. So right now, I just want to talk about that real quick. Right now, we're just um, doing this to help Charlie. You know, Charlie needs to be more stable around other dogs. Charlie, we keep training the dog that sit is an implied stay. All the commands are implied stays. I know that this is exciting for him to be around Grandmaster Jupy. So he might have a tendency to screw up. If the dog screws up, that's okay. We'd put him back on the target. That's fine, it's all right if the dog messes up. You just wanna make sure that the dog ends up being compliant. Sit, good boy, sit. Good boy, sit. So we circle, it's like if we're just working with one, we circle, make sure that the dog knows not to turn around. He can look at me, he can turn around, but. We don't want him to turn around totally. It's two very good dogs. They are, they're two very good dogs. Super cute, super beautiful. Sit. Goofball number one, goofball number two. This guy is a giant goof. This is just an older goof, sit. Kate, are we done now? I want to go fuck and watch the fuck. I want to watch the news. I want to watch CNN. Sit. Charlie, you can watch the news in a minute. Sit.
Remember, all your commands, it's implied that the dog stays in that position until they get another command. Don't say the word stay, it's implied. If you say the word stay to the dog, they're going to float for sure. Sit. Okay? Does that make sense? Don't say the word stay, it's implied, it's built into the command. Sit. So that was an awesome we pull competition. It, it, it really is, it, you know, Charlie did great. I kind of figured Charlie would be better at it. See what, see what I'm saying? Like, like Charlie, because he, 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 his issues are related to his age. That's it. Jupy has more training. He's sort of more stable. Do you understand they're two different dogs? So the, there's always going to be one thing that one dog's good at and one thing that the other dog's real good at. No dogs are the same. Some dogs have an aptitude for, for some things. Sit. See what I'm saying? Like, don't ever compare the two and think, well, one dog is better than the other. That's not the case. Like, I never compare Tonka to Ike. You know, that would be a huge mistake. Tonka is terrible in the swamp duck hunting. I don't even take him in there. That's not really what he's about. Do you understand? He's about traveling on the ground looking for birds. When he's in that swamp that smells of birds and bird poop, he, he's just, you know, he can't control himself. He's standing up looking. He's just so hyperactive. It's not, it's not helpful to me or him. So I never compare him. And I won't take Tonk. Ike's retired. We can't take him duck hunting this year. We didn't last year because he has like a skin issue. So he's not going. He's still, he's good. But um, I, I'm not going to use Tonka for that. Although Tonka can do water retrieves. Tonka was trained to do water retrieves. If I shot a woodcock in the water, Tonka will go get it. That's not the same thing as duck hunting. Do you understand? So, so I would never compare these two dogs, even though that, that's sort of what I'm doing is comparing them. But they're both awesome. He did better on the weave pulls, but like I said, he can't recycle. Jupy can recycle. He could recycle, though. Right, right? Charlie, look at Graymaster Jupy. Okay, we're, we're done. I'm going to let these guys go. Okay, come on, here. Kids, can we go watch CNN now? This is Graymaster Jupy. There's the little midget, Charlie. Right, Char? Right, Jup? Jup, do you like Charlie? Don't beat him up, Jup. Katie couldn't beat me up if he tried. 